Hello, welcome back to Apply IT. We are starting a new series on promise. We are going to understand concept of promise in detail. But before we understand concept of promise, we need to understand difference between synchronous and asynchronous call. So let's understand both. Now to understand this synchronous and asynchronous call, I take one analogy where there is one officer shown here. This officer wants to get signature on some file. So this is that file and this is the other officer whose signature is required on this file. So one possible solution could be the first officer himself takes that file and go to the office of the other officer and take signature on, on this file. After taking the signature, the first officer will return into his office and after that the first officer can process that file whatever is required. So in this case, because this first officer himself is visiting the office of the other department, during that time, the first officer cannot do any work. That is shown with this orange color, where the first officer may, be, may walk and then go to the office of the other department. So he may take a lift and he will come back. So during this time, the time of the first officer gets wasted. So this is called as a synchronous call or blocking call. Now let's see another possible solution. So in this case, the first officer himself is not going for taking the signature, but he sends a peon along with the file to take signature on the file. So in this case, peon will go to the office of the other department and will take signature on the file. And then peon will come back and will hand over that file to the first officer. So we can understand this analogy that in this case, when the first officer is handing over the file to the peon, the peon is giving promise that, sir, I will bring sign on this file. Or if I could not bring sign on the file, I will bring the reason, like why the file could not be signed. So peon is giving promise to the officer that I will bring the signature on the file. So whenever the first officer is handing over the file, at that point it is not known that in how much time the peon will bring the file signed. So that's why Pune is giving promise because the signing on the file event will happen in future. But the advantage is that the first officer, while the file is being signed, the Pune is doing that activity. During that time, the time of the first officer, which is shown with this green color, is not getting wasted. So this is called as a non-blocking call or asynchronous call. So whatever APIs are available like Fetch or Axios, they perform non-blocking call. Basically, they return promise. So, blocking call is synchronous and non-blocking call is asynchronous. Asynchronous means it will happen in the background. So, in this case, we can see officer is working in front and behind the scene, Pune, which is another thread, is taking signature on the file. So this is exactly what happens when we make an API call using Fetch or Axios. So, let's understand that situation. We have this our front end application, say React application. Then we make an API call using Axios or Fetch API so that we can relate with this Pun who is bringing the signature on the file or who is bringing data of the API. Second officer or the other officer who is at some remote place. So we can relate this with external server or an API server. So in this case, our front-end application is requesting for data from this API server by using Axios or Fetch API, which do task behind the scene or on some other thread. But when officer is making call to Axios, they return immediately. So they return, they could not return data because that's not yet available. So in this case, they return a promise. So when we make synchronous call, the caller will get data but after some time, whereas when we make an async call or asynchronous call or non-blocking call, caller will not get data, caller will get a promise. And after some time, when data becomes available, the promise will get resolved and the caller will get the data. So in the next video, we'll understand what is this concept of promise and how it is used in making an API call. Thanks for watching and happy learning.